In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your calendar to your Sharp Tools dashboard. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to start building your ultimate smart home. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding our calendars to our sharp tools. That is an easy way to just keep up with your day. All right. So once you log into your sharp tools account, you just want to go to manage resources and then go to calendars. And right here, it says no calendar is available. So if I click on create calendar and if I go to the help section, it's going to tell you exactly how to do this. It's very easy. So our family is an Apple family. So if I go to the Apple iCloud directions, what we need to do is just log in to our iCloud account. And then we just need to go to calendars. All right. Now, right over here on the side, you have all of your calendars. And how you would add these to Sharp Tools is you have this little kind of like Wi Fi looking symbol. So if we tap on that, now you need to be sure that it's a public calendar. And then all you have to do is come down here and click copy link. And then this is Newberry SC. So I'm going to go back to the Sharp Tools app and I'm going to give it a name. Let's name it the same. And then you just paste in that long um, link here and then click create. And now you can see that Newberry SC now shows here. Um, let's go ahead and do a couple more calendars. So we're going to create calendar, go back over here and credit card deals. Let's do that. It's got to make sure this public calendar is checked and then click copy link. Go back to Sharp Tools, paste in the link, and let's do a couple more. All right, so those are all of the calendars that I wanted to add. So I have these three calendars added here. And now what we can do is put these on a dashboard. So we're going to click on Dashboard, and let's just go make a new bit dashboard just hit the plus sign here and since i'm on a desktop just to make it look right i'm gonna choose a desktop but if you were um, doing on a tablet or a phone you'd want to choose one of these other target devices and we just need to put in a dashboard name so we're just going to do calendar testing and click create All right. and now it's just going to tell you let's uh, get started and add a tile so we're just going to tap add tile and right down here you have a section for calendars one you can add is month that is a default calendar so we're going to tap that and then you can also add the calendars that you added so i added bills credit card deals and newberry sc and now if we tap off you can see that we have these added this is the month calendar so that kind of just tells you you know the month and what day you're on and then over here are the calendars that we added if you come into here you can click on edit and you can change the label the dimensions so say if i wanted to make this one taller let's just go ahead and make it four and let's go ahead and save that just to see what it shows save it all right, so now you can see it's got um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So this one is, click on edit again. That one is a vertical calendar. So you would be sliding up and down to see more of your calendar. You can also change that to be a horizontal calendar. And we can save that. So now it's a horizontal calendar. So if I save the dashboard, now we can scroll across like this. we have um, three different calendars where we could take all of these calendars and put them on one so i'm going to show you how to do that real quick so you just tap on the three dots at the bottom click on edit and let's tap 
this, click on edit again. Let's change this back to a vertical calendar. Then you have some other options in here like show start time, show end time, and below summary, left of summary. So you can uh, mess with these settings. But if you wanted to add more than one calendar in this block, what you'd want to do is come here where it says calendars to display. And here you just wanted to check off the other two calendars and click on save. So now you can see over here on the eighth, um, I have the chiropractor. Now this is on, um, this was the bills calendar before, but now it's going to have all of the bills, all of the credit card deals and all of the Newberry SC on this one calendar. And then now we can remove these other two. You can obviously change the size. Um, so if we wanted to make this a little bit shorter, You can make it really thin. Probably want to have it at least two. Like that. And then obviously you can add um, cameras, you can add the weather, you can add um, anything in your smart home can be added to this dashboard. Um, and that is very handy. Now obviously if you didn't have an iPhone, you'd follow the other um, instructions. Um, you can add your Google Calendar, your Apple iCloud Calendar, your Microsoft Office 365, um, and you can add Facebook upcoming events and birthdays. Also, I forgot to mention here um, US holidays. Um, if you wanted to um, add that, just tap on that and click on create. And now that's added the US holidays to your list here for your calendars. And we come over to our dashboards and go to calendar testing. Here you have your calendars again. So now if we wanted to add the holidays onto this calendar, we can tap on the three dots, tap on edit, tap on the three dots here, tap on edit again. And now under calendars to display, we're gonna have the US holidays. I'm gonna tap that off and tap on save. So now we are going to get the holidays on this as well. So I hope you found that video helpful. As you can see, it's super easy to add your calendars right to your Shark Tools dashboard. You can also add the weather or uh, cameras or anything else that you wanted to add to this dashboard. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section and I will see you in the next video.